This is Ryan Matt Borden, aka Loopline, and in this video I'm going to show you how to extract or grab emails from a local file. Now this could be a text file, like a .txt file, it could be a SQL database file, it could be a CSV file, it could be an HTML file, like a website that you've saved off, that sort of thing. So it doesn't matter if you go in a browser and you save HTML from behind a login page and you save it to file, or if you have an, a SQL database from somewhere or if you have an Excel file, you can just go into Excel and go File, Save As, and save it as a CSV file. Or if you just have a plain text file. Whatever you've saved off that you have email addresses in, you can get them. So let's have a look at just an example file here. Let me pull one up. I've just got some accountants in Michigan here that's in a uh, CSV file that's been extracted. And we can see, their, um, see the different things I got some URLs, names, phone numbers, email addresses, license number for the realtor, addresses, so on. So if I want to extract all of these email addresses out of here so I can put them in um, just a mail campaign or maybe do email verification on them, which Scrapebox can also do email ver verification or whatever, all I have to do here is go in Scrapebox and go to grab check, grab emails from a local list, and then I'm gonna grab that file. Now it brings it here. Before I start it, I do have some options. I can set up filters, which is really nice and helpful. Remove emails containing, keep emails containing, or skip pages not containing. So we can do that. And then of course export when we're done, hit start. It's almost instant, 6,500 emails. Now I can export them and save them here as output. And then we can just go back and have a look and it's just a text file. And then there we have all of our emails. And if we pop this back open, I don't know if these are in alphabetical order or not, but um, we can see our A1 appraisal services here is the first email and there it is, is the first email here. So it looks like it even put them in alphabetical order for us or extracted them in the order that they're in the file in rather. And so that's as hard as it is to extract emails from a file. It took about five seconds to click a couple buttons, open the file, hit start and away we go. If you don't have Scrapebox, you can get it here from scrapebox.com and uh, just roll down of course and there is a uh, add to cart button and then there's tons of info more up here as well about features and then also there'll be a link in the video description below. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell and then check out these other great Scrapebox videos.